Hello everyone. Tonight for a bedtime story I'm reading you Spaghetti with the Yeti. Written by Adam and Charlotte Gillen and Lee Wildish. A boy called George had an excellent plan to go and discover the Yeti. He put in his backpack a warm woolly hat, a map and a tin of spaghetti. Slowly, George climbed up a steep mountain path in search of the mythical beast when he stumbled straight into a monster who was eating a sumptuous feast. Hooray! shouted George. I knew you'd be here. I'm sure that you must be the Yeti. The monster stood up with a furious gaze. Are oh, you crazy? My name is Betty. So sorry, Betty, said George with a smile. But I'm taking the Yeti some lunch. Well, in that case, you want to take some of these bones for the Yeti. Likes food with a crunch. So George climbed up of the steep mountain path to track down the hideaway brute when he stumbled upon a big monster with a face like a battered old boot. Yippee! shouted George. I've tracked you down now. I've been searching so long for the Yeti. The monster glared down with the angriest growl. How insulting! My name is Hetty. Oh, so sorry, Hetty, said George with a sigh. But I'm taking the Yeti a treat. Oh, in that case, you want to take one of these goats, for the Yeti likes food with a bleat. So George trudged on up the steep mountain path, dragging the goat by her tail, when he spotted a shape in the distance and heard the most bone-chilling wail. Hooray! shouted George. At last it is you! I've been looking so hard for the Yeti. The monster looked down with a horrible howl. Are oh, you bonkers? My name is Nettie. So sorry, Nettie, said George, feeling glum. But I'm taking the Yeti a snack. Well, in that case, you'll want to take lobsters and crabs for the Yeti likes food he can crack. So George plodded on up the steep mountain path. The difficult climb made him puff. Exhausted, he threw himself down on the ground. That's it, he cried. I've had enough. As George sat despondent, his head in his hands, a shadow fell over the place. He felt something hairy, a paw in the back and then turned and peered up at a face. I found you, cried George, with a big happy grin, and he showed all his gifts to the Yeti. But the monster looked down at the crab and the goat and said, Sorry, I just eat spaghetti. I knew it, said George with a whoop of delight, and he opened the battered old tin. Then he tipped the spaghetti out into a bowl. And George and the Yeti tucked in. Slurp. The end.